chicken is like meat except for delicious because it's like you know that there's something special about chicken and in my own life chicken has always been like turkey except more delicious because turkey is like it's kind of tastes like chicken except not as delicious like the meat on turkeys are usually darker for some reason or maybe this that's just the way I've had it and I'm totally wrong about that so if I'm wrong tell me in the comments below this is my first review on food and I'm gonna talk about food in my food review where I talk about food you know what food is food is something that you eat that is edible that you can eat and digest with your tummy with your stomachs with your stomachs with your tummy I know there's another word for it tummy stomachs with your digestion your tummy your belly get inside my belly get out of my body and into my belly so here's my first food you review I'm gonna review not oatmeal and not ice cream but chicken and chicken has been with me all of my life for since since I was little all of my life as far back as I remember and especially during the Thanksgiving holiday and maybe other holidays too but I don't remember a lot of different holidays where we eat chicken explicitly chicken but during Thanksgiving we have chicken and turkey and usually that's what most people do in the United States of America since Thanksgiving is an American holiday when I say American I mean the citizens of the United States of America and not South America and not North America which includes Central America and Mexico and Canada and Quebec which is a part of Canada but doesn't want to be I really like chicken and turkey but I like chicken more than turkey because chicken is sweeter than turkey and sweeter than cow meat like sweeter than steak and sweeter than the meat you get in the ocean and the water sweeter than that kind of meat which we call fish so sweeter than fish and turkey and beef and and steak and pork which comes from pig and and deer and meat and lamb and snake meat which which they call the other white white meat kind of thing and this is my food review in case you forgot spoil alert if you don't know anything about this movie wait I'm not reviewing a movie a film a TV show television show series or video game or music video it's just food there's no way to spoil it unless if you literally actually spoil the food but not keeping it fresh or in the refrigerator as in the frizz or the freezer or canned and it's metal like it's metal can you do canning and keep it fresh in there and have salt or have other ways of preserving through salt or taking away all the air and keeping it in a plastic bag and have a little machine that sucks up the air out of it and, and sticks it into plastic and covers plastic around the food item or there are there are other ways to preserve food and if you don't preserve food it will get spoiled what are the other ways to preserve food let me know in the comments below or email me at original at g 
gmail.com or I will spoil you if you don't email me or leave me a comment and like me and subscribe to me. I will be really sad. I will be more sad if I can't eat because I really like to eat, especially chicken, which is sweeter than turkey for some reason. It's white and it's not too dark. When it gets darker, it becomes less sweet. And that's the magical thing about chicken. And historically, in my life, during Thanksgiving, we would eat chicken and turkey, but mostly chicken, and then after the Thanksgiving holiday, which happens on a Thursday in America, we would have chicken sandwiches, and also turkey sandwiches, and turkey chicken sandwiches, but mostly chicken sandwiches. My mother would, would make them for me, and then I would also make the chicken sandwiches myself, which I really like the bread and the chicken and the mayonnaise, but don't put ketchup or mustard or other things into it. I mean, you could have lettuce in it and onions, but those things take time to put into your sandwiches, and I'm usually in a hurry when I was younger. The younger I was, the more impatient I was, the more in a hurry I was, the more not patient I was. I wanted things to happen faster, which I still do to an extent, but I'm trying my best to grow out of that. But when the going gets tough, you get in a hurry, you make lemon, no, you make lemonade when life gives you lemonade. No, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And when life gives you chicken, after Thanksgiving, you make chicken sandwiches. And that's one of the things that I remember and enjoy about chicken is that you can make chicken sandwiches out of it. And it just fills you up because it's like you need meat, especially if you're a guy and you're a caveman and you're like Tim Allen in Home Improvement, which is another TV show that I need to review because he acts like a caveman and says ho 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 kind of thing make these noises with their mouth because guys talk less than girls and they eat more meat than the female race the female people the female in general and that's okay because we're ch stronger we're built tougher like gorillas and the girls are normally not big bone and they're skinny and beautiful more beautiful because God made Adam and then he did not make Steve he made Eve and when he was making Eve God the Trinity the God the Father and God the Holy Spirit and God the Son who is three but one God said I could do better than that. I can make something better than Adam. So he made Eve, and Eve was more beautiful. And it's like, wow. But that's okay. I'm a man, and I'm happy to be a man. So I need some chicken. Give me some chicken. It's gonna fill me up. And what kind of chicken do I like? I think I really like the chicken from KFC. That's Kentucky Fried Chicken, which is a restaurant, a fast food restaurant from the United States, from especially Kentucky, which is a state kind of in the central part of the United States, and it's finger licking good, but it's finger licking good, but you eat it, and then there's still stuff on your fingers, and you eat that too, because it's that good, and you also have chicken at different restaurants, like McDonald's, and Burger King and Wendy's, they have burgers, they have chicken burgers, and meat burgers, and hamburgers, and cheeseburgers, and Big Macs, 
and all these different things at different fast food restaurants and restaurants and stores. And sometimes it may be too spicy if they add too much spice to it. But at the same time, it's usually pretty good no matter where you get the chicken or the turkey or other meat. A lot of times, especially if it's at a fast food restaurant, the meat is really good and delicious. And, and I usually order a, a chicken sandwich, a chicken burger. This is so good. Sometimes I have to have like a taco too, maybe. But usually I go for a chicken burger because I really love my chicken for some reason. It's just so good. I wouldn't actually kill a chicken and eat it unless if I really had to if I was stuck on an island with you. Or maybe not with you. Depending on who you are and whether or not you can get along with me or will I have to kill you or will you be my friend like Wilson I'm Tom Hanks and I'm stuck on an island in the film Castaway and you're my friend you're the volleyball named Wilson cause it says Wilson on it so that's what I'm gonna call you and then I cut my hand or my face my teeth and then I get the blood on my hands and then I get the blood on you, the volleyball, Wilson, the volleyball, and then I draw a little face out of the blood, and then there's a smiley face on it, and you're my friend, but you're also a person, because you wouldn't actually be a volleyball, because if you're watching this, you're not a volleyball, you're not a freaking volleyball, you're a person, and maybe I would let you hang out with me if I was stuck on an island, but we'd have to hunt some chicken and eat the chicken and make some chicken sandwiches because I really, really like my chicken. Chicken is so good. I don't know why it's just men prefer meat over anything else for whatever the reason. And chicken is just like, it's good. It's like egg, but it's more mature than egg because egg is like, egg is baby chicken. But why set up for a baby? when you can have the grown up person. What do you think about this with you? Do I need to say more things about the food that I'm talking about? Like in this review it's about chicken where I talk about that food and I may reference other foods and other things to try to make my point about the different things that I'm saying but I still try to stay focused on the one topic and subject at hand was this food and this episode is about the food chicken um, but what do you think how did I do did I say enough about chicken did I describe chicken well enough what do you think about chicken tell me in the comments below because this is the food review series and playlist on YouTube on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash original oat meal. I talk about food in the food review. I have other reviews where I talk about films and review films. I review films, movies in the film review playlist. And then I have a television series review and a video game reviews and, and I'm starting new reviews about other things and a word review playlist where I review different words one word per video so I have different reviews but what do you think about the different reviews are they good enough do I need to say more in this review talk faster or talk less say more I may review some of the videos and try to make them better but I want to hear from you first before I go back and redo any of them or make new ones or start new playlists and new reviews like maybe a new idea of something else that I need to review like maybe a book review where I review books 
do you think I should do that? Let me know. Do you like books? Or would you rather eat a chicken 